The jump from Division Three to Major League Baseball is often a big one, but Vinny Rotino didn't mind. Mike Stewart gave me a chance to play, even though I, I may not have been one of the better players on the team, even as a freshman and a, and a sophomore, and then finally junior year. Um, I, like I said, gained the strength. I realized I could be pretty good. Despite an All-American final year with the Eagles, MLB teams didn't take him in the draft. They were like, this guy is telling us that he's going to play professional baseball, and he's at UW-Madison playing for the club baseball team. This guy's nuts. The Brewers of all teams picked him up, and after three years of grinding, Rotino realized his dream. I don't think I would have stuck it out for as long as I did if I didn't have like this burning desire I can't even explain what it is I just knew that I you know that I wanted to play ever since I was like a little kid I just loved the game that much I was the kid that would go you know go to practice and then come home and keep practicing that grind carried him through six more years of stints with different clubs all the way to Japan in 2013 and Korea the year after with his playing days coming to an end in 2016. When I was playing I was kind of married to the game I'm you know and, it, you know, it all happens for a reason, I believe. And so I met my wife, like, towards the tail end of my career. Um, and then I realized, with the baby on the way, I'm not going to keep doing this. Rotino, in the last few years, went from player to pro scout to corporate America in Racine. Now, the Brewers have a new title for him, broadcaster. It was a colleague of Mike Anderson, who's a scout for the Texas Rangers. That's Brian Anderson's brother. Brian thought I'd be good at the broadcast gig, I thought. Yeah, you know, that would be like a dream job. Rotino will serve as an analyst for Brewers Live this season, joining the likes of Craig Kishun and fellow former Brewer Tim Dillard. I'm learning how to talk about it on TV. It's different from talking about it in the clubhouse. It's not a job he pictured himself doing 20 years ago, but he sees it as a perfect way to stay in the game that he's devoted his life to. The more you get comfortable and realize, like, this is just a conversation, I think I'll, I'll get better at it. But I'm... I'm I'm not an expert at it. I'll have fun with it.